uh, for pointing out how the pandemic has forced many communities to start again with regards to progressing the sustainable development goals. The health crisis has no doubt extended inequalities, not only continuing to leave people behind, but as you say, also perhaps pushing disadvantaged communities behind even further. We need those new fiscal, education, health, and international support measures to counteract this. Thank you. Next, um, we have um, Mr. Felix Dodds, who's setting the tone for our discussion uh, a little later. Mr. Mr. Dodds is a junk professor at the Water Institute in the Department of Environmental Sciences and Engineering at the University of North Carolina. From 1992 to 2010, Felix was also the Executive Director of Stakeholder Forum for a Sustainable Future. His international efforts have been recognized by the city of Bonn, where he is an international ambassador. Felix, in the next few minutes, will react to the points raised by the panelists uh, as he's steering us closer to the core questions of this session. Felix, the floor is yours. Thank you, excellent. Uh, thank you, and hello, excellencies. We're facing three, not two massive challenges for our society now and in the next 10 years, the pandemic and the climate change we know well. The third challenge I wanted to bring to this discussion and highlight is the more silent impact of the fourth industrial revolution. President Biden in his State of the Union address said, we'll see more technological change in the next 10 years than we saw in the last 50. It's not just artificial artificial intelligence, but automation, data analytics, internet of things, augmented and virtual reality, blockchain, 3D printing, biotechnology, I could go on. So many changes in such a short time. With every great transformation comes great chances, but also great risks. One of the hopes is it will help developing countries to jump from polluting industries to greener industries. We are already seeing an ever increasing inequality within countries and between them. These new technologies can either reduce that or increase it. New challenges include things like deep fake, cyber security, protecting our privacy, AI, robots, police and soldiers, drone weaponization, the use of personal data for political repression, the use of social media to promote hate and racism, the move to freelancing, it's been estimated that we will see something like 70% of people who will be employed as freelancers by 2030. Are we preparing this generation for this? What does it mean for health care? Uh, what does it mean for social security and pensions? To end I four messages, the present institution we are attending, the High Level Political Forum, is not fit for purpose for the challenges of the next 10 years. The midterm review of the SDGs in 2023 to strengthen this body considerably. The second is we need to identify evidence-based decision pathways that would encourage positive outcomes and minimize negative outcomes. Thirdly, we will need to refocus the private sector finance to help deliver the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. And finally, the fourth industrial revolution is characterized by the emergence of new technologies that are blurring the boundaries between physical, digital, and biological worlds. We urgently need international and national dialogue on how to manage that transition before it's too late. Thank you. Thank you, Felix, so much in a brief message. Uh, technological advances can have their um, challenges as well as their advantages quite clearly. How are we preparing our future, gen our current and future generations to deal with these impacts? So quite significant and the four key reformations, the key recommendations that you're promoting are of great interest to us. But rather than address those personally myself, we have a series of respondents, a very a series of important respondents who will uh, speak next and address some of those key queries that have been um, summarized previously. I now invite our minister, first ministerial respondent to contribute a statement and to add to these discussions, specifically as they relate to our core thematic questions. 
we are delighted to invite His Excellency Mr. Omar al razaz former Prime Minister of Jordan, who has had a diverse public and private sector career. Mr. Razaz has had an outstanding academic trajectory as well, which has been acknowledged over the years with several awards for research and teaching. Thank you, Your Excellency, for joining us. Uh, the floor is yours. <laughs> 